all right my people welcome back on to this channel well i think this is a security alert right now this one is coming from another but everything has been exposed if you are still shouting one nigeria my brother my sister hmm, you are on a long thing okay with what is gathered here right now the you know the emilio Khan have been shouting oh it's his turn to become the next president all right so and then some set of people are even using the advantage of the fact that oh he is a yoruba man that bola metunumbu is a yoruba man so let everybody vote for him but right now hmm, the reverse is now the case because with you no know, with the information reaching us this is just been exposed right now and it's even been exposed by another uh, right now yeah so according to what we have here it says northerners plotting to make shetima president if tinumbu venture wins the presidential election hmm, that is another serious one all right and this has been said by najatu okay my brother my sister you now you understand where we are driving out now a lot of people have been talking about this fact that oh this set of northerners they know what they are doing that's why in all the running mates they make they make a northerner a running mate to all the you know, flag bearers so what are we talking what are we telling ourselves yes we need to wake up yoruba nation you need to wake up do not sleep because this set of yoruba nation agitators i don't I actually know what is going on right now they are sleeping they are all you no know, against each other they never knew that it is not normal i've said this times to that number this one that you people are fighting yourselves is not normal they are putting distractions in your midst so that at the end of it all you people will forget about the same yoruba nation instead of following or following yoruba nation movement you no know, strongly you people are busy fighting each other okay the election is just very close it's just by the corner and uh, if the Yoruba nation agitators can no, cannot come together at this moment. Hmm, my brother, my sister, it will be very, very disastrous. All right, my people with the news reaching us, it has been gathered that Northerners plotting to make Shetima president if Tinumbu becomes incapacitated. Hmm, this had been said by Najatu. All right, my people, the news in details. Well, onto this, Northerners are plotting to make Senator Kashim Shetima president if the APC presidential candidate Bola Tinumbu becomes incapacitated. Well, onto this, a former member of the All Progressives Congress APC presidential campaign council, Ajia Najatu Mohammed, claimed this is what Northerners are planning should the ruling APC win the 2023 presidential election all right onto the speaking to this day she said some northerners urging tinumbu to continue with his presidential ambition so his running mate can replace him if he his health fails hmm if his health fails okay and then najatu recently re re resigns from the apc and then it's presidential campaign team all right you understand what is going on this same najatu that is exposing this was actually with the apc yes it was actually with them and then right now she had resigned and then you know, you know a lot of things will definitely come up when you, you know where um when you were with them you no know, most of the things that they have been talking about and then don't forget it don't forget that this same lady this same najatu uh, is a uh, another name in case you don't know this same najatu is another name and uh, right now she had been able to you know expose everything that their plans hmm, my brother my sister that their plans is to make the running mates become president and uh, you need to understand one thing you see these people eh? hmm. there is one thing they will always do they already know that oh bola metinumbu's health is is not no let me say the man is not ld we already know that everybody knows that so right now they are pushing him to become the next president <laughs> that is serious they are pushing him to become the next president and they're making their own strong man to become to be his 
running mate they already know that at the end of it all i yes this man maybe three years or two years he go down weak mm -hmm. we are not praying for any bad thing to happen to anyone anyway and then the next thing automatically what happens the vice president will definitely become the president and then if somebody like shetima becomes the president of nigeria my brother my sister i don't even know what this our people are still looking i don't know what our our yoruba agitators i don't know what they are still waiting for hmm. because this is not funny at all i tell you it is not funny at all for you to open your eyes and then allow these northerners hmm, northerners to become the next president hmm. this is this is this is something that should not happen at all because for you to allow a northerner so to say to become the running mate to Bola Ahmed Tinubu. We talked about you know, the Muslim Muslim ticket earlier, but you no know, majority of people drag it at the end of it all. It's still it's still there. This set of people still know what they are doing. They are still there. And then right now everybody has kept mute. Hmm. As if it is nothing. Well and then you no know, it is it is it is being said that a former member of the All Progressive Congress. This lady is a mem it was a member, but right now, no longer a member of that party. And then everything that had been said had now been revealed. Hmm, what does that tell you, my brother, my sister? All right, it had been gathered that this same Najatu recently resigned from the APC and uh, its presidential campaign team. Well, I think God is just exposing these people one after the other but majority of people majority of us we are not opening our eyes to see the danger that is looming all right and the meanwhile says while stating that the northerners are banking on his ill health mohammed said they just want to push him for them to be the president hmm. it is not even in his interest okay and then she added some people from meduguri called me today asking ajia why did you do this you have now punctured our interest our son is going to be president and then you are talking like that after all look at tinumbu he cannot do it we are all for kashim you have not done well for hers all right and speaking further mohammed claimed that president muhammadu buhari doesn't care about the economic security or who succeeds him as president she stated that despite briefing from all security agencies the president doesn't care about the dangers of abola tinumbu presidency given his alleged health challenges she alleged that buhari's grand new nephew yusuf tunde shabu is the prime minister of nigeria who runs the presidency adding that the president is not in charge okay and uh, right now my brother my sister <laughs> this is not funny at all yes yeah, so and then um, right now we all know what is going on Bola Metunumbu is not that strong. No wonder, you know, you will see the way the Northerners are pushing simply because they know that their own, their own running mates, their own the running mates to um, the the flag bearer is their own son. So right now they have seen it that oh. Ah yes, no people have been saying this, and a lot of people don't even believe. Ah yes, you know, be that you know, but that guy we no strong, and then you see Shetima pretending to be a good boy. Hey, my goodness! Well, it will not be our portion right now. I think everybody needs to wake up. This is the time for us to wake up. We can no longer continue in this manner. No, this is not working at all. This will not work. So everybody needs to you know wake up and do its best to make sure this does not happen because right now the people who are supposed to you know be fighting for a better nation they are sleeping 
I will always say that this set of people are sleeping. They are busy fighting each other. What exactly is the Yoruba Nation movement actually talking about right now? Yes, for the for the Biafra, we can see that oh, they believe that oh, their own person is running and then the, their person is capable. But what about the Yoruba Nation agitators? Hmm. I think everybody needs to wake up right now. This is a very strong security alert. Either you like it or not, my brother, my sister, this is exactly their plans. And then if Bola Med Tinubu venture wins, you know, majority of you no know, prophets, they have said it before now, that don't ever try to vote for APC. That if you venture, vote for APC, hmm, that the situation to which the people have found their, themselves right now is even a light one. By that time, it will be very, very difficult for people to eat. It will be very difficult for people to move around freely. And then what is this telling us? It's telling us that, no, actually, if Tinumbu, for, for somebody like Tinumbu, definitely if he wins, there might not be a problem. But what about the running mate that they are trying to push to become the next president? And they don't forget that the Northerners have made it clear that they... They are born to rule. <laughs> my brother, my sister, we need to wake up. Where show okay, according to Adedeji Kunle on this one, he had actually reacted on this. He said, Well, watchful thought, campaign after election, evil bears evil. Najatu, a dreadful, evil human being. Our God, Jehovah, the Most High, shall protect the South, the North, the East, and the, the West from evil doers in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The will of the Holy One of Israel shall prevail in Southwest and in Nigeria as a whole. Yes, so he will protect Tinubu in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right, this one is what Adedeji Konle had actually said. Well, we need to actually keep on praying not that we should just be saying it in our main mouth well he had just said his own opinion that god the good lord will protect our yoruba people but what effort have you people made towards this hmm. can the south hear and then understand what is going on this one is coming from goodness mercy yes i think a lot of them will hear but the truth of the matter is they must they must have heard this but the fact remains that most of all these people all they are after is the the they, they you know the temporary money the peanuts that have been given to them that they want to enjoy. They are not thinking of the future of their own children. Hmm, this is very bad, my brother. This is very bad. Yeah, so is that, hmm, he that has ears, let him hear. Okay, that's another one. But no, wait, let us tell ourselves the truth. What is actually going on? Because in uh, the southwestern part, the Yoruba agitators have made it clear that there won't be election. Because I think God actually pushed this to them to, you know, to know what exactly is going to happen. But right now, the reverse is, uh, is adding the case right now. Well, according to Emmanuel Namachi on his own part, he said, well, it is quite obvious that the Nigerians since 2014 have been kept spellbound by the Fulani charms. That's the reason why nobody has been able to react against all their barbaric savagery they have been committing in Nigeria. Thank God their charms have expired and then cannot work again. The Almighty God still is the omnipotent power. Conse consequently, the unveiling of all these revelations so that we can be made to understand their hidden agenda all right well i think this is actually part of it but my own take right now is that what are you people doing to stop this yes i respect professor banji akintoye i respect mrs modupa nitiri i respect chief Sunday Igbohu Usha. And then um, I respect a lot of urbanization agitators who are actually doing it from the bottom of their heart. But the fact now remains that what is going on right now? The election is just a few days to come. And then uh, you know, we are still there dragging, wanting for so many months, for so many years right now. What are you people putting in place? Because God has actually helped the people, the, their secret has been exposed. 
if at all you people because i remember then that the yoruba nation movement started they always organize you know vigil prayers prayer section just to conquer all the enemies but this time around the whole thing has stopped some side of people are still of the opinion that since mrs moduk bonitiri came into this struggle that things have not been working the way it's supposed to work but right now before Mrs. Mudupo Onitiri came into the struggle, what have they done so far? So right now, I think this time around is not the time to blame anyone. Don't blame one another. Everybody needs to come together. This is the time for you to you know to do the needful. To come together. Forgive and forget whatsoever thing that must have happened between you people i think this is the time for you to forgive forget whatsoever thing and then come together in love to save souls to save souls and what is enough for the wise all right my people this is exactly what is reaching our table right now what more can we say unto this meanwhile let me have your own take my people on this one and then Remember to subscribe for more updates if you are new on this channel. Alright, thanks and God bless.